Personally, my favorite animals are tigers. They're beautiful creatures and their stripes are amazing and unique. The problem is their population is decreasing. It's at 3,890 according to worldwildlife.org. Today we're going to talk about their lifestyle, where they live, and what they eat, their behavior in captivity, and then talk about how they're going extinct. They're very big predators and they can go days without eating. They live in rainforests, forests, forest, evergreen forests, swamps, grasslands, and savanna. Mostly what they eat are deer, lots and lots of different kinds of deer. Um, they can go from wild boars, um, monkeys, and sometimes even rhinos if they're hungry. Baby tigers are so cute. They, once they reach the age of two, that's when they're fully become an adult. Adult tigers breed up to two cubs every two years, but almost half don't survive till adulthood. Poaching is a big problem. Tigers in captivity aren't very happy. They mope around, they walk, and they pace around their enclosure. They get anxiety from tight spaces, and they get severe stress from not having a big of space as they would in the wild. Um, there are more than 10,000 tigers in the U.S. as pets. Um, in 1990 to 2006, there were 27 tiger attacks and some of the tigers were killed. Turning out of a terrible tragedy caught on tape, families watching a veteran animal trainer play with a tiger he raised from birth. When the animal snaps, officials are investigating tonight as the trainer fights for his life. It is his David Wright has the story. Caught on a tourist camera, a tiger attacks its trainer. A playful demonstration, suddenly life threatening. The trainer's colleagues rush in to save him. As they flee, the tigers chase them. Watch closely, the wounded trainer stumbles and falls. His colleagues go back to drag him to safety. Shot spectators, including kids, watched in heart. One of them got a bit of a bay hack on him and just part of the shoulders and was pouring away and got his neck and his arm and then a bit of blood came out. The trainer was airlifted to a Brisbane hospital where he's in serious but stable condition with bite wounds on his shoulders and neck. The incident took place this morning at the Australia Zoo, founded by Steve Irwin. Known as the Crocodile Hunter, Irwin was famous for getting too close for comfort with wild animals. I he died in 2006 after a stingray stung him, but his approach lives on at the Australia Zoo. The zoo's videos show the trainers playing with tigers as though they were kitty cats. Today, the tigers reminded everyone they're not. David Wright, ABC News, Los Angeles. And then we're going to talk about how they're going extinct. Um, poaching is a very huge reason why tigers are going extinct. Um, habitat loss from businesses expanding and cutting down trees. Um, and the effect of climate change has also had an effect on tigers. So this video shows um, the habitat loss of tigers. So May 5th, 
there's tigers roaming around um, trying to play, catch food, um, live their life. A few days later, you can see they're bulldozing, moving trees, and the tiger is losing its home. A day later, the tiger comes back. It's still wondering where its home is going and why the trees there that were there the other day aren't there now. Their food is becoming scarce because of the removal of trees and their animals. Personally, I think tigers should are important. Um, they're admired in some countries. They're a tour, tourist attraction. They make a lot of money from uh, selling permits to allow people to see tigers in the wild compared to in zoos. Also, they make our ecosystem go. They eat the boar, they eat more deer, that also that helps become that help the deer not become the population not become so extreme. Personally I think tires are amazing. Thank you for listening.